Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of Manifest Season 3 Episode 10. If you were new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you one of my peoples, welcome back. First off, I want to thank all my new people over here. That's what I call my subscribers. Y'all my people. That's what I call y'all over here. And we're doing something a little different, you know, on these episodes now. We're going to read down the comments and try to answer them as best as we can from last episode. So this one is from Quay32. It's K-W-A-Y-32. And there was Zeke. I guess Beverly could briefly feel what he was feeling. I'm not sure what he felt with Jared and Sarah when they looked at each other after suggesting that they would host the next dinner party. I don't know. I guess in, from what we feel this episode did, Sarah really likes Jared and Jared really likes Sarah. Now, I don't know how things are going to work out when and if he finds out that Sanvi is the one that took out the major. Because he's friends with Sanvi. So, how is that going to work? But on this episode, he did say they seem like they really like each other. But it did seem like Michaela was feeling some some sort of way. Like, she loves Zeke. But, you know, she and Jerick had this long history together. And even Beverly was like, when she was somewhat lucid, yeah, they still love each other. You know, they've had all these years together. You just can't swoop in and just change that. We're going to move on down to TN Loco 23 is... I don't, I'm, I'm a spill it out. I'm not trying to butcher anybody's name. It's like, what do you have think really happened to the people on 828? Now, I have opinions sometimes and it's like, I really don't know. Before it's like, yeah, they just disappeared. But then at the end of last season, we've seen that piece of, of the flight in the ocean. I'm like, did they disappear? Did they die? It's hard for me to say because every time I turn around, somebody else, um, something else is happening on this show that is really throwing me off. But at this point, I, I have no opinion. And usually I can have the wildest of opinions. But for some reason, I just, they have so many twists and turns on this show. I don't really know what happened. And on this combo, we got a, a, a reply from Elizabeth, Elizabeth Samuels that said, Black Lightning, whatever that does, it seems to to be the only giant casualty. Remember Fiona? She never got callings and she was on the flight. I do not remember a Fiona. And if you're watching this video, Elizabeth Samuel, can you refresh my memory as to who Fiona was? Because I, re I really don't remember a Fiona. Like, I tend to only remember the main characters. I, I just got diagoned at Tariq's name and he was on there for a few episodes, but he no longer with us. He's in the arms of the angels. And our last comment is from Elizabeth Samuels. What freaks me out about Angel Angelina is that she told Grace that she's 30 years old and she's a, a virgin. What the hell? And the reply from that one from Quay32 is, yep, because she came back from the flight and her oh her parent oh Quay32 spine she was locked up in her parents for a while right yes she was as soon as she got back they locked her up they thought she, they thought she was gonna bring on the end of times and and they were very super religious and that's maybe why she hadn't lost her virginity yet it's like my mom and daddy they they not so that they not finna have they probably had her in all the school programs and watching her like a hawk so, we read comments from last week and make sure y'all continue on commenting on these videos. So, let's get to this one. I don't know what's going on with my lighting. It just went almost old western looking. We're going to hope we can hold on. That looks so much better. It, I, I looked up and I was like, what, what are we doing? What are we doing, ma'am? I need to get my life together. I'm going to say this. I still feel how I feel about Angelina. And until they can show me that all her crazy behaviors was for a reason, I'm still going to side-eye her. And I'm definitely, after watching this episode, really going to side-eye her. I don't cacao. I, 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 
You, you, I'm usually on your side, but on this one, we just not going nowhere. Y'all, this lighting is getting on my nerves, and I don't know why. It is it's doing something. Hopefully, it's not, when I go to edit, it's not looking how it's looking right now. But anyways, Cal, there was some kind of volcanic eruption inside going on in his snow globe. And when he touches it, it is hot. Now, I love cheating the side that she grown. She ain't got nothing to do with Angelina and her single white female ways. I'm going to stay over at um, Levi's house. Now, I'm like, first of all, when did you become grown to where you're going to be staying at a boy's house? Secondly, why are y'all letting her stay at this boy's house? Questions? Grace is like, you know, she's had, you know, had it out with Angelina for whatever reason. She's not telling us, but maybe we should go ahead and, like, send Angelina off somewhere. I was like, yes. Because she's turning into single white female slash a nanny from a Lifetime movie. That is what she is turning into. I told y'all two episodes ago that she wasn't right. That I was seeing it and then I was side-eyeing her. And look what happened. I'm still feeling that way until y'all show me it differently. Now, over at Eureka, they are steady messing with this piece from Noah's Ark. Now, at this point, one of Zombie's co-workers just had to pull her to the side and like, Yes, this is causing earthquakes to happen. We really, really need to stop doing this. And we just need to stop in the midst of that, like, our earthquake happened. They are in New York, mind you. Earthquakes should not be going on in New York. I remember it was my, it was my sophomore year in high school. I was in study hall, and I kid you not, I'm in the back of the class. I, I got a few of the whole class. Like, right before the earthquake happened, everybody just turned and looked at the window. And it was the freakiest thing and then it was able the earthquake was all of four seconds but it wasn't like oh that's just a semi truck rolling by like no the earthquake and then after I went to study hall I went to homeroom and my homeroom teacher was also a science teacher and he had some machines like yeah I was I was joking at home like it was probably an earthquake go to homeroom yeah it was an earthquake we in Indiana the earth is not supposed to quake in Indiana. What are we doing? Just like here, the earth is not supposed to quake in New York. Well, I'm I'm not sure where they was at, but Angelina, she is almost crushed by a chandelier because of the earthquakes going off. Now, she says that Eden's crying. Eden started crying, insisting that she come to her. You know, like, she wants to protect her. So now, she got it in her head with the help of Beverly. She's like, that's your guardian angel. Eden, are you my guardian angel? And Grace gives her the look of, you're starting to scare me, child. Hold up, I'm going to need you to back off. I was like, I'm going to need you to listen to these what she is saying. And I'm going to need you to take these eyes and start siding them on her keep an eye on this young lady right here because she over talking about your baby her guardian angel and she said it in the most creepiest of ways now being he has a car link and he goes to help a fellow 828er and that calling leads them to an anti 828 er And it's like, okay, we got this dude who is totally against the 828 people. He thinks that they're the, the evilest of evilest of evil. Meanwhile, Michaela, she is called to like uh, some kind of department store because there's a bomb threat that has went off. Now, one of the ladies there is like, I need to get to my son. He is at school. I need to let daycare know to keep him there. Can I use your phone? Because my phone is inside. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. And once you get all that situated, I'm going to, you know, do A, B, C, and D. You can go home back to business and go get your son. Well, she does that. Well, after they get everything secured, trying to figure out who set off this bomb, she comes to the police station saying how 
her son was picked up by her ex. And, you know, he, he, has, a, he has a few issues. And he has some issues with the 828 eight people. Like, I don't have an issue with him. One of my coworkers is a, a 828 or and she's the sweetest person in the world. So, this fool, well, I don't know if I got there yet, so don't let me jump around. The threat that was called in was by her ex, so she can be stalled at work, so he can go and kidnap the child. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, I'm not liking the way it's coming off on my camera, and I do apologize in advance. But if it's not coming across like that to y'all, then just disregard what I said. Now, Sabi, she feeling some type of way about messing with a piece of Noah's Ark, which I would too. I'd be like, you know what? I know I am maybe the only person in this whole entire world that can do what we doing, whatever it is we doing with this piece of Noah's Ark wood. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm just not going to do that. We going to leave that. Go ahead and send that back to the Vatican where it belongs. We don't need to be. I know this is the great discovery since discovering has been discovering. And all the histories of discovering. I just don't think I should be doing that. And besides, these testings are what's causing these earthquakes, so maybe we should stop. Well, since Van is like, you know, my bosses, they own me. This is the greatest discovery of all times. We need to, she's like, okay, we're going to do it one more time and we're going to see what happens. But I don't really think that we should be doing this, Vans. It's dangerous. Child, being he over there with that uh, anti-828 dude and almost killed him. They trying to find his little boy. He ain't trying to hear what they has to say. He know that he has kidnapped his little boy. But he not putting two and two together. Like, how would they know that I have kidnapped my son? He did not go and punch the dude while the dude is tied to a chair. And he didn't sell and hit his head. So I was like, no, this is not good. You know, the Collins don't want us out here hurting people. Even though this man was out here hurting people. They don't want that for us. I was like, I hope this is not going to mess up, you know, the lifeboat situation that we got going on. Well, they're telling him that the little boy is scared and he's having trouble breathing. Old girl, old fellow 828 girl, whose name I did not catch. She's like, I can see him. He's scared. He has some kind of orange stuff on his fingers. Like, I gave him some hot chips. Yeah, one of his shoes is off. Well, he did have a blister. Like, then, then how would she know that? she know that because she got Collins and I guess you can say powers. This man then built a bunker so that him and his son can hide out from the ex-wife. I don't know for how long he thought this was going to last. I don't know if he thoroughly thought things through. But the generator stopped working and he came to... You know, the shop where he used to work at to get a generator to go, you know, to keep them together and make sure that they all right. They got electricity and all that little stuff. But I'm like, were you and are you qualified to build a bunker? Because what we seen at the end, it seems like you was not. Now, Olive tried to tell y'all did Angelina she was not to be trusted I was on Olive's side two episodes ago when she was over trying on Olive's clothes and telling Cal don't tell this is our little secret even though Olive is his twin sister then last week she just doggone it put icing on the cake with dyeing her hair and then throwing herself on Olive's boyfriend now she's like you know what Cherry on top of the show that I am not to be trusted. Okay, we're looking a lot better now. She tries testing her connection to Edith. Now, I made the mistake of going through my DVR box and seeing what the episode was going to be about. So, for about three or four days, I was already in my feelings and knew that I was going to be somewhat dragging her, but not really. So... This is her idea. Candle that is lit. Hand. All right, come on. Come on, you do. Come on. Protect me. Protect me. Okay, let's get this up. Okay. 
Protect me. Ow. Oh, my hand. Candle has fallen. Curtains in the back. Fire. Does she get eaten and get out of the house? Nope. She stands in front of it. I'm not going to stand. Curtains. Single white female slash lifetime movie nanny. Baby Eden in the front in her walker. Stands there. Where's, where am I at? Okay. Okay, where we go? Behold, an angel will guard me. Behold, she is chanting this. While the curtain is on fire and baby Eden looking like, I know this heifer ain't sitting here chanting when we need to be getting up out of here. Thank goodness Zeke and Grace come home. And I was like, is, you know, baby Eden down here? Yeah, you know, Angelina put her down and Zeke give one of his, his collars. Like, Eden is scared. So they was like, what the heck? They run upstairs. What do they find? Behold, a guard, uh, an angel will guard you. Behold, an angel will guard you. Grace swooped her baby up real quick, fast, and a hurry. And Zeke was able to, you know, extinguish the fire that's going on. I don't know why that hurt my shoulder so bad. <laughs> doing that. I am getting in the ages of moving. Too fast is going to hurt me. You know, Zeke, he didn't, he didn't extinguish the fire. This, I want to call her a heifer because I'm turning into Marcus Tanksley, that chick angels, that chick angels husband. But anyways, she has nerve gall and audacity to say, she sent you a message to come, to come get her. That proves that we are connected. I was just like, you did this on purpose? She's like, yes, it was a it was a test, a trial by fire. I knew that she would never be hurt. This proves we are connected. She is my guardian angel. Don't you see this? You put my baby in harm's way because you wanted to prove this connection that y'all have. Look, girl, if you don't get all of your clothes, and you ain't gonna get all of them. If you don't get your what you can get carry in a bag. And get about my house and about my face. I can't believe I I can't leave. I belong here. No, you belong with a dog on in the hospital because I didn't knock you several weeks over. That's what you which that's what you deserve. You belong in the hospital because I didn't kick your tail. Cause you almost my baby, she ain't even a year old. She could have got smoke inhalation if we hadn't got home. You could have burnt all the whole house down. You could have took yourself out. She's like, I'm a bird like, yeah, I was trying to tell y'all. She tried to tell y'all. Well, she, I guess she did really try to tell y'all. Because y'all should have known something was up. Yeah, she did. I'm my, my bad. She did. She did try to tell y'all. Well, she was like, yeah, she acting, she acting different. We need to do something about her. Do something about her real quick, quick fast and in a hurry. And she's over the This shows that we are connected because she like, let y'all know that she was scared. No, Ben sensed that she was scared. It wasn't like, Ben, you can come up now. Everything is fine. I am just proving my connection to single white female slash lifetime movie nanny. You can come get us now. It is all fine. It was none of that. She was like, Zeke, Uncle Zeke, um, can you come get me right quick? This child over here, she fit to burn me and you in the whole house up. Can you come get me, please? That's what she was giving off. She was giving off scared, not we're sharing a connection. Now, Ben, he going to jail because he didn't assault this dude. And dude already had a restraining order against him. So that's not really well, you know, working out for Ben. But... Ben was in his feelings because that is the anniversary of the day that they were they were going to just stop treatments on Cal and just let him go off and to be in the arms of the angels. 
So that's why he was all in his feelings about saving this anti a 2 eighters little boy because that was the day that he almost lost his little boy. Luckily, Michaela and the other a 2 8 lady, they was able to find him. Now, I'm not even going to lie, y'all. I was a little bit nervous thinking that this girl wasn't really a 2 eighter and then she lied about it to lure Michaela off somewhere. But they was able to find a little boy. He was trapped up under something that fell in this bunker that his daddy didn't got together. But they was able to get him out in time. So we happy about that. Cal, he is upset. He's upset because Grace is putting single white female slash lifetime movie nanny out. And, and, and you know, she's supposed to be there. Wait a minute. Well, I'm, yeah, she's supposed to I was like, we're looking at the Besides, he had a calling for her before she got there. And I was like, that all may be true. That calling could have been, she needs to be here because she going to get infatuated with Pete, the kidnapper. And in doing so, we was able to catch all three of the kidnappers. That was her role and her role alone. And so they showed me some otherwise that, all her craziness, craziness is leading to something. But she talking about Cal, Eden, and herself are supposed to protect each other. And she can't separate them. She said it almost like a threat. Like, you can't separate us. We in this to witness. And I was like, alright. Well, you're over at Eureka, zombie then stolen the piece of Noah's Ark wood. Somehow she was able to replace it. Don't know how we in the super top secret government facilities and all that other stuff. How she was able to take this piece of wood out and replace it and make it seem like it got vaporized. But she was like, yeah, she gotta do something about it. So her and her some of her co-workers, the ones was like, yeah, these volcanoes is happening. It's happening because we messing with this piece of Noah's Ark wood. Well, there was some like volcanic lava coming out of the ground. We in New York should be no volcanic lava coming up out of the ground like that. So Simon takes this piece of wood and throws it into the crack and it immediately closes up. But, and also Cal's snow globe, it stops erupting. So it's like, okay, we've done a good thing by, you know, just getting rid of that crack and stopping all these earthquakes. But Eureka, y'all need to stop doing what y'all doing. Sonny, she was supposed to turn herself in. Zeke thinks it's a good idea. Because after Michaela got shot with last season, beginning of the last season, he turned himself in. And that was like turning things around. So hopefully, you know... Sambi will turn herself in. Ben, he already in jail, you know, going to trial and all that stuff. So, I don't know if Sambi's going to turn herself in or not. So, yeah, y'all, that was the just. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications on us when my beautiful face puts up a video. You can click on it. You can like it and share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. And tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.